Hello everyone, and welcome to the third chair melee chain grab guides. Today we'll be going over Dr. Mario's down throw chain grabs on Bowser, DK, Falcon, Falco, Fox, Ganon, Link, Pichu, Pikachu, Roy, Sheik, Yoshi, and Young Link, as well as his up throw chain grabs on Fox, Falco, and Captain Falcon. So get ready for a long video, as Doc's chain grabs are some of the strangest in the game. However, a few are also incredibly powerful ones to learn that can lead the way to victory at any level. Doc should always jump cancel his grab. This is due to the fact that his dash grab is 4 frames slower on startup and has 10 extra frames of lag if the grab whiffs. Also, all of Doc's throws are affected by character weight. That means that Doc will have slightly different timing when he can start to move on his up and down throw depending on the character thrown. The heavier the character, the longer Doc is in lag. Dr. Mario's up throw chain grab on Fox is incredibly powerful, going from 0 until 65% regardless of DI and all the way up to 79% on bad DI. For no DI, Doc can cover with a standing regrab. This works from 0 to 50%. From 50 to 65%, Doc has to walk forward and turn around regrab. You can end this with an up smash or an aerial. For away DI, Doc can cover with a dash jump cancel regrab. This works from 0 to 78%. Your best ending follow-up on this is going for a short hop fair, which will send Fox very far and leave him at very high damage. For behind DI, Doc can cover with a turnaround dash jump cancel regrab. This works from 0 to 79%. You can also end this with a running short hop fair, which will send Fox a nice distance away, or you can go for a bear to an edge guard situation. Doc's down throw chain grab on Fox is an even stronger chain grab than his up throw. Guaranteed from 55 until 200% onwards, and starting as low as 10% on bad DI, this chain grab easily can end any fox's stock, but it is a tough one to master. For no DI, Doc can either stand and regrab or turn around regrab. It is just personal preference, as standing is easier for no DI, but turn around will cover slight behind as well. This works from 10% onward. You can finish this chain grab with an up smash or a forward smash, which will kill around 120% onward. For away DI, Doc can just stand and regrab from 26 to 39%. From 39% to 45%, there's a small section where Doc is unable to regrab Fox. However, from 45% onward, Doc can regrab by doing a dash jump cancel regrab. You can end this with a quick short hop fair. For far behind DI, Doc has a dash jump cancel turnaround regrab. This works from 55% onward. You have to be quick on this DI, and as Fox gets to a nice higher percent, you can end it easily with a short hop nair or fair. However, if you're near the edge of the stage, a back throw works as well. You can also up throw to fair which will kill at 110% onward. Doc's up throw chain grab on Falco is an even stronger chain grab than it is on Fox, as it goes from 0 to 73% and can go as high as 89% on bad DI. For no DI, Doc can just stand and regrab. This works from 0 to 60%. From 60 to 73%, Doc has to walk forward and turn around regrab. You can end this with a short hop fair, which will deal a lot of damage. For away DI, Doc has a dash jump cancel regrab. This works from 0 to 89%. The best and easiest follow-up is going for a fair, although you can also go for a nair as well. For behind DI, Doc has to turn around dash jump cancel regrab. This also works from 0 until 89%. This chain grab again has the same follow-ups as away DI, just with the extra difficulty due to the turnaround input. Now if you thought Doc's down throw chain grab on Fox was powerful, let me introduce you to Doc's down throw chain grab on Falco. Guaranteed from 33 to 200% onward, it can even start at 0% with bad DI. For no DI, Doc can either stand and regrab or turn around regrab similar to Fox. The choice comes down to personal preference as standing is easier for no DI and turn around will cover slight behind DI. This works from 0% onward. You can end this with a short hop fair, an up smash, or a forward smash. Just note that at very low percents, you're going to have to go for a standing regrab. For away DI, Doc can just stand and regrab from 6 to 21%. From 21% onward, Doc has a dash jump cancel regrab. 
You can end this with a nice short hop fair or a short hop nair, a forward smash or a down smash, depending on when you want to choose to end this chain grab. For behind DI, Doc has to turn around dash jump cancel regrab. This works from 33% onward. This chain grab has very similar ending follow up to away DI, but fair and down smash are easily the most reliable. You can also go for an up throw to fair, which will kill from 110 to 120% onward. Doc also has a decent up throw chain grab on Falcon, which is guaranteed from 13 to 51%. However, this chain grab can go from 10 to 66% with bad DI. For no DI, Doc can easily just stand and regrab. This goes from 13 to 51%. You can finish this with an up smash or a short hop fair. For away DI, Doc has a dash jump cancel regrab. This goes from 10 to 66%. Again, this has similar follow ups to Fox and Falco, where you can go for any aerial, but it's best to go for a strong fair here. For behind DI, Doc has a turnaround dash jump cancel regrab. This goes from 13 to 66%. This has the same follow-ups to the way DI once again, and the only difference is the turnaround frame making it a bit harder. Similar to the spaces, Doc has yet again another powerful down throw chain grab on Falcon as well. This is guaranteed from 53 until 153%, however it can go from 11% to 196% on bad DI. For no DI, Doc can either stand and regrab or turnaround regrab. It is again personal preference, as standing is easier and turnaround will cover slight behind, and standing is of course only needed on very low percents. This works from 11% until 153%. You can easily end this with an up smash or a fair, both of which will easily kill. For away DI, Doc has a dash jump cancel regrab. This works from 46 until 196%. You can end this with a down smash, a nair, or a fair, but it depends on what percent you want to end the chain grab at. For far behind DI, Doc has a turnaround dash jump cancel regrab. This works from 53 until 196%. Your best follow-ups are to just go for a down smash, however you can also go for an up throw to fair from 120 to 130% onward which will kill on final destination. Moving on, we have one of the few dock chain grabs that is not entirely true. His down throw chain grab on Bowser has a few small gaps thanks to Bowser's weight if he DIs properly. The true range goes from 13 to 21% and 35 to 42%, but it can range from 0 to 64% on bad DI. It is also a slightly harder chain grab as dock needs to be very quick on the regrab. For no DI, Doc can regrab from 0 to 42% and it can be done with a simple standing regrab. You can easily end this chain grab with an up smash or a forward smash. For away DI, Doc can regrab from 2 to 21% and 24 to 64%. For the initial 2 to 21%, Doc can regrab with a standing regrab. However, for the rest, he must do a dash jump cancel regrab. You can end this with an up air combo string or a nair. For behind DI, Doc can regrab from 13 to 21% with a turnaround regrab, and it can be ended with an up tilt or up air. From 35 to 60%, Doc can regrab with a turnaround dash jump cancel regrab, and it can be ended with a bear. Doc's down throw chain grab on DK is similar to Bowser, where it has a few gaps in it that can allow DK to escape. Its true percents are from 13 to 15%, 24 to 30%, 35 to 39%, and 46 to 47%. However, it does range from 0 to 51%. Because the gaps are so small, you can try and pummel and rethrow to skip over the gaps, but the opponent can try to mash out during this time. For no DI, Doc can regrab from 0 to 18% by doing a standing regrab. Doc can also turn around regrab, but it is not necessary to do so. You can end this with an up tilt or an up smash. For away DI, Doc can regrab from 13 to 51%, but must do a dash jump cancel regrab. You can end this with any aerial you choose, but up air can lead to a regrab if low to the ground. For behind DI, Doc can regrab from 13 to 15%, 24 to 30, 35 to 39, and 46 to 47%. For the 13 to 15% range, Doc can turn around regrab, but for the rest, he must do a turnaround dash jump cancel regrab. 
Doc's final chain grab with some strange gaps is his down throw chain grab versus Ganon. The true chain grab goes from 13 to 16, 24 to 31, and 35 to 36 guaranteed. However, it can go from 0 to 53% with bad DI. It is possible to pummel and throw to skip over the gaps here as well. However, the opponent can still mesh out. For no DI, Doc can regrab from 0 to 36% by doing a turnaround grab. Doc can also do a standing regrab, but Ganon will be able to jump out after 7%. For away DI, Doc can regrab from 6 to 53% by doing a dash jump cancel regrab. You can end this with a down smash or an up air. For behind DI, Doc can regrab from 13 to 16, 24 to 31, and 35 to 36% by doing a turnaround dash jump cancel regrab. You can easily hit a narrow or bear during this range. Now back to a more normal chain grab, Doc's down throw chain grab on Link goes from 13 to 40% on any DI, however, it can go from 0 to 64% on bad DI. For no DI, Doc can regrab from 0 to 40% and can regrab with either a standing regrab or a turnaround regrab. Starting at 25%, however, Doc must do a turnaround regrab. You can end this with an up smash. For away DI, Doc can regrab from 6 to 64% by doing a dash jump cancel regrab. You can end this with a fair, a down smash, a nair, or an up air. For behind DI, Doc can regrab from 13 to 64% by doing a turnaround dash jump cancel regrab. You can end this with a bear or a dash attack to juggle. Doc's chain grab on Pichu is a pretty small one, lasting from 0 to 27%, but can go up to 43% on bad DI. For no DI, Doc should just turn around grab, which lasts from 0 to 27%. Doc could cover the first grab with a standing grab, but you don't have to. You can end this with an up smash. For away DI, Doc just needs a dash jump cancel regrab. This lasts from 0 to 43%. You can end this with a fair, a nair, or an up air. For behind DI, Doc must turn around dash jump cancel regrab from 0 to 43%. You can end this with a quick nair or a bear. Doc's chain grab on Pikachu is almost exactly the same percent wise as it is on Pichu, although it does differ just a little in execution. The chain grab is guaranteed from 0 to 27%, but can go up to 42% on bad DI. For no DI, Doc should just turn around grab, which lasts from 0 to 27%. Doc can also cover the 0 to 17 with a standing regrab, and you can end this with an up smash. For away DI, Doc just needs a dash jump cancel regrab. This lasts from 0 to 42%, and it can be ended with a nice fair, a down smash, or a nair. For behind DI, Doc can turn around regrab from 0 to 25%, and he can turn around dash jump cancel regrab from 26 to 42%. You can end this with a nair or a bear once again. Doc has a nice chain grab on Roy, which is guaranteed from 0 to 53%, but can go up to 76% on bad DI. For no DI, this chain grab lasts from 0 to 53%. Doc can either standing regrab or turnaround regrab from 0 to 38. From 38 to 46%, Doc must turnaround regrab, and from 46 to 53%, Doc must step turnaround regrab. This can be ended with an up smash. For away DI, Doc must dash jump cancel regrab, and it lasts from 0 to 76%. You can end this with a fair, a nair, or a down smash once again, all of which will send Roy very far. For behind DI, Doc must turn around dash jump cancel regrab. This also lasts from 0 to 76%, and you can end this with a bear, an up air, or a nair, although up air leads to a potential follow up afterwards as well. Doc's chain grab on Sheik is pretty large and important to the matchup. It lasts from 0 to 67% and can go up to 83% on bad DI. For no DI, from 0 to 25%, Doc can do a standing regrab. Afterwards, he should do a turnaround regrab from 25 to 67%. You can finish this chain grab with an up smash or a forward smash. For away DI, from 0 to 26%, Doc can cover with a standing regrab. However, from 26 to 83%, Doc needs to dash jump cancel regrab. You can finish this with a nice fair. For behind DI, Doc needs to turn around dash jump cancel regrab. This lasts from 0 to 83%. You can end this with a nice fair, or you can go for an up air juggle, or just go for a bear off stage. Doc has a small chain grab on Yoshi, which is guaranteed from 13 to 24%, however it can go from 0 up to 35% on bad DI. For no DI, Doc can grab with either a standing or a turnaround regrab. This lasts from 0 to 24% and can be ended with an up smash. 
for away DI, Doc can catch Yoshi with a dash jump cancel regrab. This lasts from 13 to 27 percent. You can only safely end this with an up air or a nair. For behind DI, Doc has to turn around regrab from 0 to 24 percent. From 24 to 35 percent, he has to turn around dash jump cancel regrab. You can follow this up with a nair or a bear. Lastly, Doc has a decent chain grab on Young Link that is guaranteed from 0 to 39%, however it can go up to 60% on bad DI. For no DI, from 0 to 34%, Doc can cover with a standing regrab. After this, he has to step forward and turn around regrab for 34 to 39%. You can end this with an up smash. For away DI, Doc can cover from 0 to 60% with a dash jump cancel regrab. You can end this with any aerial of your choosing. For behind DI, Doc can cover with a turnaround dash jump cancel regrab, which lasts from 0 to 60%. You can end this with a nair, an up air, or a bear. And with that, we have covered every possible Dr. Mario chain grab in Super Smash Bros. Melee. Hopefully you learned something and enjoyed this long video. And if you want to add some information on what you like to do with Doc's chain grabs, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.